Hey everyone, Shabby Game here, and welcome back to another episode of our Final Fantasy XV playthrough. Now, I have made our way back to the Stalem off camera to save you guys loads of screens of card journeys. Now, the first thing I did think about doing, as soon as we got in, you can probably see it straight in front of me, is visiting the weapons were uh, the weapon shop. So let's have a quick look. Hey, what do you have see if there's anything time? good in here. It's looking good, actually. Looking good. Obviously, we're not going to beat the Ultima Blade uh, held by Noctis, so swords are not that important. Oh, 244 damage. Wow, that's going to be good for Ignis, isn't it? Not Ignis, sorry, Gladiolus. Yep, that is a massive upgrade for him, so we'll definitely get him one of those. What are you doing business? Um, we've got pole arms. Um, again, pole arms shouldn't be that good because we do have the drain lance. Yeah, so drain lance 3 is not going to be beaten, so uh, we don't need pole arms. Daggers. Um, who needs daggers? It is Prompto. No, Prompto doesn't need daggers. Oh, we're, on, we're on the pistol. We're, we're, we're six dagger daggers. There we go. Ignis. Currently 58 damage. These do 126, so more than double the damage. We'll definitely buy some of these for Ignis. Uh, Mithril Pistol does 96 damage, which is better than the 53 we currently got, so we'll buy one of those for Prompto. Shield, Power Shield, 176 attack, currently 52, so that's more than three times the damage. Wow, that's a big, big one, that one. And accessories. What guild do we have? We've only got 3,000 guild left, but we definitely want a carbon bangle. That's an extra 150 health. Is that the best one we can get? That enhances magic. That enhances spirituality. That uh, reduces damage taken. And that increases damage. Vitality. I don't want vitality, to tell the truth. That enhances strength slightly. A garnet bracer. What does Gladiolus have? He has. Um, Gladiolus. So he's got two bronze bangles, Gladiolus. Which don't really do a lot of damage. Let's buy one carbon bangle and one garnet bracer look for now. I'll see and you I'm going to um, equip all this stuff. The wife. And then we'll sell all the stuff we don't need. So Noctus. I do need to put something in this extra space for you, Noctus, don't I, really? Should we give you the water crossbow for now? Nobody else is using it, are they? So I might as well give it... I think we're not going to use it either, so there's no point. We might as well wait till we have some more Royal Arms. But then again, the Royal Arms don't really do much either, do they? We don't really use them because they use up a lot of um, a lot of our own health. So we'll, we'll ignore Noctus for now. And character across. Okay. So we want to change you from the Blade of Brenner to the Hard Edge. The Hard Edge? Or hard... How did I struggle to read that? It says hard edge, my god. Right, kite shield switched for the power shield. And bronze bangle switched for the carbon bangle. And the bronze bangle switched for the garnet bracelet. So that should make Gladiolus now incredibly good. Um, next we're on to the guy I almost called Mark there. This is Ignis, isn't this Ignis? I think this is Ignis. So we're going to give him the assassin's daggers, which improves his attack from 58 up to 126, which is fantastic. He's already got the Drain Lance, which is great, and he's got two Bronze Bangles. With anything better than um, Bronze Bangles for him? I don't know. Not really, do we? We do have an Iron Bangle that he can use. Let's give him one Iron Bangle to have with that Bronze Bangle. Next, we are on to Prompto. Switching the Calamity for the Mithril Pistol is going to make him more dangerous. He does have the Circular Saw as well. He has the titanium bangle because um, we wanted to have him extra health, didn't we? Because he kept dying. He was the, the weakest. That is everyone uh, updated. Congrats. So if we can now go look at our winners. Again, we'll sell. And let's go to our weapon. So we can sell the air step sword. We don't need that. What are you doing business? This blade we don't need. Cutlasses we don't need. Calamity we don't need. Kite shield we don't need. And everything else is currently equipped, I believe. Accessories, we can give you the five bronze bangles we don't need. Oh, no, we don't. We can give you four. We can give you four. Um, oh, yeah, it tells me at the bottom who's got one. Okay. So that's got one equipped. We've got two equipped and two in stock. One, one. So I can get rid of one of these. Um, two of them, two equipped. One of them, none equipped. So let's sell that. Camera strap will keep. Amethyst bracelet, one. 
equipped and we're going to get rid of one. We don't really necessarily need it. And bulletproof vest, worth a thousand, we'll sell that as well. Hey, come again. Does that allow us to buy anything? Do we need hey, anything else? That was, I don't think we need anything time. else, do we? Oh, we were looking at um, extra carbon bangles, weren't we? We can get another two carbon bangles now, then. Pleasure doing business. With that. Um, can we sell some more stuff, maybe? Sell some treasures? We've got 62 of these, and they're worth 90 each, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's Pleasure worth 5k business. altogether. Two rare coins. Um, 16 Vaughn... Vore tooth bristles, we'll get rid of them. So I'm a little bit worried about s selling stuff because I don't know if it's actually worth anything, that's the problem. Or if we need to keep it. I think these are literally just. Um, oh, about 20, 24. This is what I was um, trying to get the sturdy helix horns. We've got um, loads of them. Yeah, I, I don't think they're needed. I think the only things that are needed are this hydraulic cylinder. Is that something we need for doing. Um, I don't know if that's something we need. I don't know. I'm going to keep hold of that just in case. For upgrading a weapon is what I'm trying to say. So that increases vitality, that uh, reduces ballistic damage, increases uh, magic, increases spirits. So I'm going to get some more of these. I'm going to get five more of them just to really improve everyone's See health. I think that's a big thing that's uh, a big sort of uh, sticking point for us at the moment is people dying. Um, so carbon bangle is what we need, isn't it? That's the good one. Yep, that's the good one. So you've got the carbon bangle and the amethyst, which gives you extra damage. Okay, you're good then. Carbon bangle. Okay, you're good. Got iron bangle, bronze. So we're going to give you a carbon and a carbon. And we're going to give you a... See, titanium's the best one, isn't it? Titanium is the one that does... 200 so we need to get rid of a carbon for you which means i think i've brought too many carbon it doesn't matter it doesn't matter does it right so we're now fully pimped up is it safe to go in here um it is night time but i don't think it's going to matter too much here in the city so we are going to run around and do the mission since we're here we need to meet iris at the laville which i believe is going to be the inn anyway so it's not going to be too much of a problem so as you can see now everyone's health is over 1000 which is fantastic to see Ah, we do need to buy some ingredients, don't we, for the mission? They knocked. Check it out. What is it? What is it? I thought you might tell me what it is. Okay. Um, quests. What do we need to purchase for the guy in Hammerhead? We might as well do it while we're here. Right, so he wants... Um, what does he want? I hope if it told me what it won, wouldn't it? Request not to go instead. Well, that's the reward, but what is... What do we need to buy? I don't know what we need to buy. Will it tell me in here? Think food, think false stuff. Buy now. Buy the ingredients. Fall star, the ingredients it's food from above. What do I need to buy? Thanks for choosing Fallstar. Manual gear quests. Um, an important ingredient is available only in the Friday market of La Salle. Tackett is too busy to make the trip, so he requests not to go instead. But what does he want? What do I need to buy? Maybe I need to go to a different vendor. It looks like we need to go to a different vendor. It's one around the corner. Maybe when we go to the other vendor, it'll um, do it. It'll just be a quest, so it'll just give us the correct items. We're going to actually buy them. Let's do that while we're here. We're in the and We might as well do everything at once. I don't know if I can get through this way. The Stalin is a difficult city to get around, isn't it? And I'm a little bit worried about going down dark alleys at night time. Maybe we should call it a night. A lot of women in dark alleys, or that? Nice yeah. Potion, okay. Oh, so it's in the so market. Many needs to be, stalls here, all full of foods I've never eaten. The aroma is indeed tantalizing. I'm detecting a fresh produce straight from Furlock Farms. Stay and have a look. 
Look at tell me what the uh, quest item is then, is it? Butter one. As long as you're happy, I'll try the Gorilla Rolesta. Not gonna tell me what the quest item is I need to buy. Just to fight. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. What do we need to buy? What do we need to bloody buy? Okay, quest. There we go. Welcome. I don't see it here. If it's not on the shelf, you're out of luck. It's gonna be a while before we get any new stock in. The whole last delivery fell off the guy's truck. We'd go and pick it up, but that area is too dangerous. I can't say when the next shipment will come in. Oh. That is, unless you're willing to go and fetch the shipment for us. Yeah. I think we can handle it. Okay, well that's not gone as planned, is it? We have another mission to do now. What's well, on our list of things to do? We're not necessarily going to do it now. Uh, it's not too close, is it? So we'll, we'll go back to doing our main storyline mission for now. The Burden of Expectation. Because we are very much over leveled now for the main storyline. I think what we'll do is we'll probably try and we'll probably try. We'll probably try and press through the main storyline as much as we can until we hit some sort of stumbling block. And then from there on we will probably go off and do some other quest to try and level up. But let's hit some main storyline action. Whoa! Did you feel that? You mean the earthquake? What's that? Uh, some what's sort wrong? Of flashback. My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. Is there an item over there? Is there? That's a read thing. Is that going to teach us a new cosmology? No, it's going to teach us a new cosmology. Here we go for the cutscene. Iris. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Mm. We stay the night in this place, then, are we? Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Quinn's not this. Iris is safe with me. <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. So, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. The hell was that? Massive. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, uh thanks. <clears throat> uh, what? So... About Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away. But at least it means she's okay. <sighs> good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. I don't know what that massive the what thing was there in the uh, in the cutscene. That's pretty pretty crazy. That massive. I know there are some gianty things on this game. I've seen uh, the odd screenshot of things like colossus and stuff like that. So we're up to level twenty five. Excellent. Um, well, Prompter's photography's gone up. And Gladius's survival's gone up slightly as well. Ignis's cooking hasn't gone up too much because I I, I keep staying in hotels because you get more XP out of it. And again, you can't blame me for that. See, I like some of these pictures, but they're all quite, um, not 
not fake as such, but they're all um, quite staged ones I think the game gives you normally. I might just start saving the ones that are quite cool from the battlefield because you only get a certain amount to save throughout the entire game. And I reckon what's going to happen is once you've saved them all, I've got a feeling it could be like some sort of slideshow at the end of the game. Maybe even behind the credits, maybe? I don't know. It'd be an interesting way of doing it. The next morning. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh, they're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. I'll go, there is. It's cute, why not? Sure. Why not? Great. Is that the same as Noctis I'll show you around. It seems your patience was rewarded. Just for saying yes. Enjoy your walk and please take care. Why is there a big red For our eye first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me, right this way. Come on, Iris. Surely you can run, can't you? No, nope, you can only walk. Oh, no, no, you can run. <sighs> it's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> so you just hate these missions where you walk around and follow people. They're so annoying and slow. But we do what we have to do for our labours. We've got 200 XP for this. I'm now stuck on a post. Okay. It took me so long to get free from that as well. This is the Partella Market. You can get almost anything here. Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. All these shops seem right up your alley. You know me so well. XP just for that. Wow, this, this, this girl's an XP farm, she is. That's 450 XP we've gained so far. Wow. Look at all this neat stuff. What is it? I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. Done. Next, we're gonna see the power plant. Another score. Yeah, that's the one thing you always come to a new city and like to see the power plant, isn't it? it looks like fish on here. They Shrimp, maybe? Am I just gonna walk and you follow me, or am I following you now? I don't know. You're following me now, okay. Does that mean we can go at my speed, or we still gotta go at your speed? Oh, there's an item there, let's pick that up. A Cornix oil sticker. Okay, that's something for a car, but it looks a bit based on the little logo next to it. So, this here as well is a way for us to get some XP with Noctus ahead of some of the other guys. Well, that's a good thing or not, but it means that Noctis is going to be more powered than the... Wow. What the hell is that? Big crystals in the ground, they are. Crazy big crystals. That's the power plant. The driving force behind Lestalem's prosperity. But get this. Only women work there. As a matter of fact, Women are the ones who do all the work in this town. Sounds like your kind of place. I can see you doing well here. I think so too. It's so different from home. I was surprised at first, but I like it. All right. Next, we're going to the Outlook. Yeah, a lot of XP from this. Outlook, probably gonna be something looking over the beach, I'm a city maybe. Girl, but I dig the rustic charm. Huh. Can we go through this way, we can. I quite like the big cities every now and again. I don't tend to stick in them too much because they are quite big, but we've done really well with the with the items we've brought so far. The the weapons upgrades are massive. It really is a big, big upgrade. On what we currently have. It really is on fire. It, is it... <laughs> you would totally love the drinks in this place. Would I? Imagine so taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. Doesn't seem very interesting at all, does he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd like a drink in it. Pegler Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look, there's the meteor. You know, Noct, 
This almost feels like a date. If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> we better keep it quiet then. And besides, you already have Lady Luna Freya. The others are probably back at the hotel by now. Let's join them. So I paid for that as well. Whoa. Almost jumped over the... Oh, is that right in there now? That's wrong. The base silver piece. So that's a pretty good uh, little walk around just to pick up some items around the town, really. Pretty useful. I do have the strategy guide, I must admit, right next to me. And I've not opened it once since I started playing this game. I often do that. I often buy the strategy guides to make sure that I get everything. And end up um, not reading them, but... I only read them for sort of like a bit of help here and there on how to get certain things or like I've been doing recently with going around and collecting some of the best weapons that you can uh, really have in the early game like the Ultima Blade and the Drain Lance just just um, to give us that extra boost going forward and I think it's important to have because as you may have noticed watching some of my videos I am not really Let's good at... Let's see if the others are back. Um, <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. Anyway, I've got loads the of thing XP I bought today. It's like over it's a thousand XP just for walking around the town. It's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Please. A stroll for two. Hey, look who's back! Talk it. Go on and tell him what you told me. You got it. Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. So, there's this legend about a sword, and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. Check it out. Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talcott. You're welcome. So we're off to one of the tombs. This sounds dangerous. Will the four of you be all right? I don't even invite them. Obviously we can't. Um, so the tomb's gonna be. Oh, is that right? Rabito. That's a problem. Tomb's pretty close, then, is it? Remedy. This is be pretty close. If that is what we're going to. Two different exclamation marks. What are those? Oh, sure. Gotta pack our bags for leave and cool down. We're just gonna ask these people what they are. Ah, welcome back. I'll be seeing you. They activate the quest. Hey boys, I have a job for rough and ready sorts like you and yours. Ah, uh, okay. If you're not busy, I'd like you to head over to my farm and bring back some produce. Was about to send a request to Hunter HQ when you showed up. <laughs> Thought I'd try my luck with you first. You can get the details at the farm. Thanks in advance. I just remembered that the uh, question marks are for, uh, are for um, actual new quests rather than quests you're doing, so I've actually just gone to the complete wrong place. But still, we'll pick up these quests while we're here, because you never know. We might be near one of them, we might as well just do it. Huh. Fine wheat from rich fields of Thurlock Farms. Our whole new wheat can beat. Rabbit a proper mountain. Uh -huh. Too hot to move or do anything else. Excuse me, but you're a hunter, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. You see, Gramps is seeking to secure new supply channels for merchandise. A supply channels? Okay. To that end, we'd negotiated a deal with your fellow hunter, but he went silent on us. Maybe he got cold feet, maybe he's a cold corpse. If you meet him, could you ask him if the deal's still on? Hey, brother. You're a hunter, right? And you drive all over the place? Yeah. What about it? Well, I have a little favor to ask. 
If you see a delivery van abandoned along the road, would you mind retrieving the cargo for me? The vehicle was attacked by monsters, you see, and the driver had to ditch it. Okay. The marketplace has just given us tons of missions. I'm hoping there's no uh, limit to how many missions we can have. 1.87 mi miles away, that uh, certainly not your average. Little boy. So, what we'll do is we'll move uh, down brass, uh, back to the car. I think we'll drive down there. Probably what we'll do Iggy. is I'll finish the episode off I in a few minutes you. and we will do the drive off camera and then we can attack this tomb during the next episode. So, I don't know why I like to put H in the beginning of the words. Uh, just have another quick casual one round. There's any more quests that we can take. As soon as we finish off that mission, it seems to be um, opened up a lot more for us. Anything else? No. We could eat some of those, give us a nice little bonus. Bonus? Nice little bonus going forward. I only need to sell a cup of noodles. Oh, no, that's a new recipe we've learned. Okay. Hello there. Care for cup noodles? Um, increases the maximum HP by 300. Okay, we don't really want Come to do that again. last bit. I don't have a proper meal, don't we, really? So there is a proper E.T. place down here. There is another mission down there as well. It's an E.T. place. Why did I get the word E.T. place from? I don't know. Let's go. God, I, I wonder why games do this. They have like the most infallible bushes in the entire world. It's a bit like on Battlefield, like you can destroy any building, but if you hit a tree... Hey there! Um, nope. He is... Come again! Chef, he is just a normal vendor. I'm looking for this knife and fork, that's what I'm looking for down here. Let's go and see this guy, see what he's got to cook for us. Chris baked bread fresh out of the oven! Uh, is this so, gonna be. Ah, we can talk to this guy then. Let's talk to him, he should give us some stuff. Nearby areas, parking spots, outposts, procurement points. Okay, all marked on the map. Unlike other places, like this we offer there. more than a mouth on fire. Roti and curry plate. Um, increases attack by 120, magic by 100, HP by 200. Um, soul soup. Attack by 120, spirit by 200, fire resistance by 70, and big bread buns, as you do. Um, HP by 600, and that's, none of this stuff is really that good, is it? Um, I think the best thing is probably this curry rice plate uh, increases maximum HP magic and attack so we'll probably do oh, that yeah one. can do a bit of that we do have a bit of XP saved up not Look much out, though stomach. that looks nice actually I'm gonna eat that right now myself and um, so we'll put that in and um, a little bit of XP saved up I think we'll probably save that for the next uh, thank you for the next uh, time we um, we camp out somewhere <laughs> do this mission we should have even more XP saved up this will be interesting now, once we get into the caves, just to see how powerful we are. With the Ultima Blade, the Drain Lance, and all the new weapons that have been purchased for all of the guys. Not just um, not just Noctis, but all of the guys. Um, Gladiolus with a brand new sword and shield. Um, Prompto, a brand new set of daggers. And Ignis, nope. Prompto, a new gun. And Ignis with a new set of daggers. This uh, rather large man looks lost. It's Hurley from Lost. That's Hurley from Lost. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's the Crown Prince, city's most famous hunters, right? That is Hurley from Lost. <laughs> Got out while you. Honestly, could. if you've not seen Lost, then yeah, Google Hurley from Lost. That is a spitting there. image of the guy. You need cash? Cause I need people. What do you say? The job's yours, if you're willing and able. That of course I'm Hurley. What's the job? The easy kind. Just need a couple of photos, is all. The disc of Corthus. One from the south, one from the north. I suppose we can manage that. Yeah? That's great, kid. Music to my ears, let me tell you. Now, you're gonna need a camera, so what I suggest... We've already got one. <laughs> Came prepared, huh? Guess you're ready to roll. Come back as soon as you get the shots. I'll be right here waiting to see what you do. Okay, Hurley. Okay, so we need some photographs of that uh, disc. I believe we have to go there Maybe at some point. I'm sure it's uh, part of the storyline. Uh, uh, 
Something suspect. There must be a catch. Guess we'll find out. So here we go, back in the car. Gonna go auto to a quest location, and that is going to be the sword in the waterfall. And I'm gonna leave the episode right here. I'm gonna travel to the sword of the waterfall now, and I will join you in a couple of days' time for episode number 18, when we will challenge this. What I'm, what I'm guessing, not suggesting, what I'm guessing is going to be another tomb, which means it's probably gonna have some cool stuff in there, and maybe even another boss. So, of course, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please do let me know by hitting that like button. It does really help me out. And, of course, if you are new around here and you would like to see some more, then please do hit that subscribe button as well. I've been Chabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you very, very soon for another episode of Final Fantasy XV.